March Madness Tips for Enjoying NCAA Tournament Hoops Action The only reason I know that Gonzaga is playing in the current NCAA Tournament Hoops Action is that fantasy at the Luxor Bombshell Mariah Rivera and my esteemed editor Don Charienzi are fans of the Jesuit Catholic University team in Spokane, Washington, predicting, or at least hoping, that their team will win the national championship. I don't know the first thing about March Madness other than that it consumes all of Las Vegas as college basketball's biggest event in our town and that this year new President Donald J. Trump has made headlines for nixing any White House bracket picks. However, Frank Kunovic, director of specialty games at Caesars Palace, is a seasoned gaming professional. A Chicago native with two decades of race and sports experience and expertise, Frank is a knowledgeable veteran of sports betting action. The sports book guru passed on first-timer's insight, from advanced planning and day of experience to betting. Here's his take on all that is March Madness in Las Vegas. As a sports betting rookie planning a trip to Las Vegas for March Madness, what advice do you have for preparation? Do your homework and purchase tickets to parties or reserved seating in advance. You can check out Lounge Reserve. Com for limited reserved seating and VIP packages. You also should make sure you have a phone charger. Many of our bars are equipped so that you can stay plugged into all the hoops action. Headphones are a must. Caesars Palace is the only sports book with listen Wi-Fi on the strip. You can get sound from all four games on your iPhone or Android device. What are the best survival tips for the long haul fan? My best advice. Pace yourself. Don't go too hard on day one. Stay hydrated, take little breaks, and don't forget to eat. There is a lot of basketball action, and it's easy to get caught up in the energy and excitement and forget about the basics. For somebody who loves watching but is new to betting, what's your advice? Don't be intimidated. We have friendly, knowledgeable, and helpful staff who are ready to assist. We are very approachable, so if you have a question or are unsure of something, just ask. What does one need to know to go to the window and place a bet? It is probably best to know your bets by the number before you get to the window. When you look at betting sheets, there is usually a 3 or 4 digit number listed next to each bet. That is what you are looking for. Also. You may want to lay the juice which is the 11 tenths that bettors place on straight wagers, meaning you would bet $11 to win $10, which would pay a winning ticket $21. Should one bet on their favorite team even if it's a dud? Yes. I think you should always bet on your team. The point spread is the great equalizer so your team doesn't necessarily need to win. They just need to cover the spread to make you a winner. In terms of your preferences, do you go with the underdog or favorite? I always go for the dog. How about over or under? Personally, I always prefer a high scoring, action packed game, so I go with the over. If players come for week 1, can they still bet on the championship game? While you are here, you can place bets for future games. When you bet early, sometimes you get better odds as the odds ebb and flow over time based on a team's performance. Is there more to bet on than just who will win a game? There are loads of bets. You can bet straight bets or against the spread or total points or make bets on the half s. You can make parlays, too, and put multiple bets on one ticket. They are obviously trickier to hit, but, when you do, they pay nicely. Anything else in terms of advice for beginners? From Selection Sunday when the lines are made to the championship game, know that anything is possible. Everyone loves a good Cinderella story, and there is always one to be had during March Madness. The atmosphere in the sports book during college basketball is electric and exciting. The fans really get into it, and their reactions to plays and outcomes are passionate. It is a great environment for college hoops fans. 
Asterisk asterisk asterisk. Let the games begin. Opening day starts Thursday and runs through Sunday. The Sweet 16 is March 23rd to 26th, and the Final Four is April 1st to 3rd at the same time we play host to the week that Vegas goes country for the ACM Awards. Only Las Vegas could handle all the madness. As for Mariah and Gonzaga alumnus Don S. bets on no. One seed Gonzaga, I hate to tell them that the Las Vegas sports books give the best odds to win to ACC rivals Duke in North Carolina, but they do have to get past Gonzaga in the final four first if their team topples Arizona. That s why you go to folks like Frank for advice, especially if you re like me and totally lost.